China has consistently shown its strength in space exploration and technology. The country has reached impressive milestones, such as landing on the far side of the moon, deploying a rover on Mars, and launching its own space station, Tiangong. The Tiangong Space Station, built and operated by the China Manned Space Agency, is permanently crewed. It has a modular design, with modules assembled in low Earth orbit, between 340 and 450 kilometers, 210 and 280 millimeters, above the surface. As China's first long-term space station, Tiangong is a key part of the Tiangong program and the third step of the China Manned Space Program. It has a pressurized volume of 340 mats of 3, 12,000 times CUFT, making it slightly over one-third the size of the International Space Station. Tiangong is intended to support space-based experiments and to serve as a platform for scientific and technological innovation. Construction, Launches and Milestones China's space station Tiangong is a testament to the nation's growing expertise in space exploration, building on the experience gained from its precursors, Tiangong-1 and Tiangong-2. Constructed and operated by the Chinese Manned Space Agency, CMSA, Tiangong, meaning Heavenly Palace, orbits Earth at an altitude between 217 and 280 miles, 340 to 450 kilometers, roughly the same orbital height as the International Space Station. ISS. The construction of Tiangong followed a phased approach with the launch of its core module and subsequent laboratory modules over a span of nearly two years. The first module, Tianhe, Harmony of the Heavens, was launched on April the 29th, 2021. Tianhe serves as the primary living space and control center of the space station, featuring essential life support systems and living quarters for the crew. Following the successful deployment of Tianhe, CMSA carried out multiple crewed and uncrewed missions to further assemble and expand the space station. The second module, Wentian, Quest for the Heavens, was launched on July 24, 2022. Wentian includes additional living quarters and a laboratory for scientific experiments, enhancing the station's capacity for research and providing redundancy for key systems. The third and final module, Mengtian, Dreaming of the Heavens, was launched on October 31st, 2022. Mengtian offers additional laboratory space and further resources for scientific research, completing the modular assembly of Tiangong. The first crewed mission to Tiangong, Shenzhou-12, arrived on June 16th, 2021, when only the Tianhe core module was in orbit. The Taikonauts, a term for Chinese astronauts, spent 90 days aboard Tianhe, marking a significant milestone as the longest crewed mission by China at the time. This mission demonstrated China's capability in long-duration human spaceflight and the operational readiness of Tiangong for extended missions. Overall, the construction and operational milestones of Tiangong highlight China's dedication to advancing its presence in space. The space station not only serves as a platform for scientific research and technological innovation, but also underscores China's commitment to contributing to the global space community. The CMSA aims to maintain continuous habitation of Tiangong, with at least three astronauts, for a minimum of 10 years. During this period, the space station will conduct numerous experiments, accommodating research from both China and international collaborators. Size and Functionality of China's Tiangong Space Station China's Tiangong Space Station stands as a remarkable feat in space exploration, albeit smaller and lighter compared to the International Space Station, ISS. Comprising only three modules, Tiangong pales in comparison to the ISS's extensive 16-module structure. Moreover, the weight of Tiangong is significantly lighter, tipping the scales at roughly 20% of the ISS's hefty 400-ton, 450 metric tons mass. At the heart of Tiangong lies the Tianhe core module, stretching an impressive 54 feet, 16.6 meters, in length. Equipped with a docking hub, Tianhe serves as the primary living quarters for astronauts and functions as a central hub for receiving visiting spacecraft, including the crewed Shenzhou and cargo Tianzhou vessels. Enhancing its capabilities, Tianhe boasts a large robotic arm instrumental in maneuvering additional modules like Mengtian and Wentian, and supporting astronauts during critical spacewalks. Tianhe's significance extends beyond its sheer size, as it dwarfs China's earlier test space labs, 
Tiangong 1 and Tiangong 2, both in dimensions and mass. Weighing in at a substantial 24 tons, 22 metric tons, Tianhe represents a significant advancement in China's space station endeavors, offering a more spacious and functional environment for scientific research and human habitation. The introduction of the new Tiangong station, coupled with the arrival of visiting Shenzhou and Tianzhou spacecraft, significantly expands the usable space available to China's astronauts. Bai Linhu, deputy chief designer of the space station, aptly described the transition, noting that occupants will experience a significant upgrade in living conditions, akin to residing in a villa compared to the confines of previous Chinese space labs. Advanced features and future expansion plans of Tianhe Module Tianhe, the core module of China's Tiangong Space Station, boasts cutting-edge regenerative life support systems, enabling astronauts to sustain long-duration missions in orbit. Among its capabilities is the ability to recycle urine, ensuring the conservation of vital resources essential for prolonged habitation. Beyond life support, Tianhe serves as the primary habitat for astronauts and houses, critical propulsion systems responsible for maintaining the space station's orbit. Moreover, in a groundbreaking development, Tiangong will soon be accompanied by a colossal, Hubble-like space telescope known as Zuntian, translating to Survey the Heavens. Zuntian, designed to share the same orbit as the space station, offers unprecedented capabilities for repairs, maintenance, and potential upgrades by docking directly with Tiangong. With a 6.6-foot, 2-meter diameter mirror, slightly smaller than Hubble's, Zuntian provides a remarkable 300-fold increase in the field of view. Over a span of 10 years, Zuntian aims to survey 40% of the sky using its vast 2.5 billion pixel camera, promising groundbreaking insights into the cosmos. Potential expansion to six modules. Looking ahead, the Tiangong Space Station holds the potential for significant expansion, potentially accommodating up to six modules in total. As envisioned by Bai Linho, Deputy Chief Designer of the Space Station. This expansion could involve transforming the existing three-module configuration into a cross-shaped arrangement by adding a second Tianhe core module. Such an expansion would facilitate the integration of two additional modules, further enhancing the capabilities and scientific potential of the orbital outpost. Why does China have its own space station? China has developed its own space station, Tiangong, primarily because it is excluded from participating in the International Space Station, ISS, program. This exclusion is largely due to concerns from the United States regarding the ties between China's space programs and the People's Liberation Army, the military branch of the ruling Communist Party. In 2011, the US Congress passed a law known as the Wolf Amendment, which prohibits NASA from engaging in substantial cooperation with Chinese counterparts unless express authorization is granted beforehand. This legislation effectively bars China from contributing to or collaborating on the ISS, significantly limiting its participation in international space endeavors. Because of this legislative barrier, China is not a partner in the ISS program, and no Chinese astronaut has ever visited the ISS. Faced with this exclusion, China decided to pursue its own independent path in space exploration. Building its own space station, Tiangong, allows China to conduct scientific research, technological experiments, and long-duration human spaceflight independently, thereby advancing its capabilities and securing a presence in low Earth orbit. Is the Chinese space station bigger than the ISS? The Chinese space station, Tiangong, is considerably smaller than the International Space Station, ISS. Tiangong is composed of three modules, the core module, Tianhe, and two laboratory modules, Wentian and Mengtian. In contrast, the ISS consists of 16 interconnected modules that provide extensive living and working space for its international crew. The ISS, which has been continuously inhabited by astronaut crews since November 2000, represents a larger and more complex structure. Its numerous modules are dedicated to various scientific, research, and living purposes supporting a wide range of experiments conducted by astronauts from multiple countries. The scale and capacity of the ISS far exceed those of Tiangong, 
highlighting the difference in size and collaborative scope between the two space stations. The Project History of Tiangong The road to Tiangong's orbit has been a lengthy and meticulous one, reflecting China's determined pursuit of space station capability. The project was initially greenlit in 1992, heralding the inception of an ambitious endeavor that would shape the nation's space exploration narrative. With the approval in place, China embarked on developing the Shenzhou Crew spacecraft and the Long March 2F rocket, laying the groundwork for sending astronauts into space. China's inaugural leap into crewed spaceflight occurred in October 2003, with Yang Liwei's historic journey as the nation's first astronaut. This milestone not only marked China's entry into the elite group of nations capable of independent human spaceflight, but also set the stage for broader aspirations in space exploration. While China expressed interest in joining the International Space Station ISS, partnership, these aspirations were thwarted by a 2011 decree enacted by US lawmakers. This decree effectively severed direct coordination between NASA and China, or any Chinese-owned entities, foreclosing the possibility of direct collaboration between the two space programs. Undeterred by these obstacles, China pressed forward, recognizing the need to test crucial space station systems before realizing its crude space station ambitions. The launch of the 9-ton, 8.2 metric tons, Tiangong-1 Space Lab in 2011 marked a pivotal milestone in this journey. Subsequent missions, including the uncrewed Shenzhou-8 and the crewed Shenzhou-9 and 10, further validated essential rendezvous and docking technologies, essential for sustained human presence in orbit. Building on the success of Tiangong-1, China elevated its capabilities with the launch of the upgraded Tiangong-2 in 2016. This advanced iteration not only boasted enhanced systems, but also set a new national record for human spaceflight mission duration, underscoring China's growing expertise and ambition in space exploration. Advancing Rocket Technology as the China Manned Space Agency CMSA, marked significant milestones in its space exploration endeavors, it simultaneously focused on the development of new, larger Long March heavy lift rockets crucial for realizing a space station. The Long March 5B rocket emerged as a pivotal component in this endeavor, specifically tailored for launching the massive space station modules into low Earth orbit. However, the same rocket was also at the center of one of the most significant uncontrolled re-entries in recent decades, following the launch of Tianhe in late April 2021. Subsequent launches of Mengtian and Wentian experienced similar uncontrolled falls of the Long March 5B, eliciting criticism from the US and other nations regarding space debris management. In 2014, China achieved another milestone with the completion of its new coastal spaceport at Wenchang. This strategically located facility was purpose-built to accommodate the larger diameter rockets, such as the Long March 5B, which require transportation by sea 